Alrighty, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us in today's webinar, uh, Transitioning from G Suite to Google Workspace in 2021. Throughout the next 30 minutes or so, we will cover details of the transition if you are currently on a G Suite plan and why Worcester is encouraging you to move to Google Workspace. I'd like to introduce our panel today. My name is Brianna Brown, and I'm the Partner and Sales Operations Manager here at Worcester. And joining me today is Chris Ayala and Steve Irwin, both Relationship Managers here at Worcester. Hello, Chris and Steve. Hi, good morning, good day. Uh, this meeting is re being recorded, as you can see. If you are here, you will receive a link to view it later. Um, we do ask that you stay on mute because there are quite a few people here in today's session. Um, however, we do encourage you to also participate by submitting your questions anytime in the Meet chat. We will answer them likely at the end of the presentation or if they fit while we're going through the presentation, we'll answer them live. We will also be using the polls feature. If you haven't used it yet, it is lovely. Um, our marketing counterparts will be dropping in polls throughout the session. You can see that by using the little shapes icon in the lower right hand corner of your screen. We also encourage you to connect with us on LinkedIn. We will happily accept um, love to grow our network. And Emily has just dropped those um, in the chat as well. This event is being hosted by Worsta. Um, so thanks for joining us. And we want to share a little bit about us before we get started, if you aren't familiar. Worcester's mission is to help organizations maximize the use of the cloud. We work very closely with our clients to help them make good technology decisions and grow their businesses in ways they wouldn't have been able to otherwise. If you're a current customer, you might know what I'm talking about. This helps organizations like yours develop cultures of continuous innovation powered by what we all know and love as real time. With that, I will hand it over to Steve to talk a little bit about Google Workspace. Thanks, Brianna. I think, you know, first and foremost, a lot of people have the question, what is Google Workspace? And you know, plainly put, Google Workspace is everything you know and love about G Suite with more offerings to tailor to a wider range of customers, industries, and use cases, while still providing the security and admin control of an enterprise work system. So similar to G Suite, all Google Workspace plans provide a custom email for your business and include collaboration tools like Gmail, Calendar, Meet, Chat, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, Sites, and more. So there are a variety of plans that are designed to meet your unique business needs. And we'll talk about those plans in a bit. But to kick the conversation off, we have a quick poll with a simple question. How prepared are you to transition to Google Workspace? And as a reminder, the poll icon is in the bottom right hand corner. It's a triangle square in a circle and you can click on that and see the poll that Emily has just launched. There are no wrong answers here. <laughs> I'm not sure if the results pop up or if they just pop up on your own, Brianna. Yep, they'll be on your own. Yep. So I just went ahead and voted. And I can see some of the other votes. We have a majority of the people here that says they are not at all ready to transition help. Yep. Yep. Um, and then we have a couple of people who have said they are somewhat prepared. Um, and two votes that says I'm ready to go. Let's do it. That's awesome. That is good. That's good. And so really, I mean, the, the thing that's important here is that and it's really, I mean, honestly, it's great news is that regardless of where you are in that process or in that readiness mode, um, it can be a lot easier than most people think. And while there are certainly things to watch out for as you make that transition, this is one of the methods where Worsta can help as a premier Google partner. So regardless of your company size, industry, or experience with technology, Worsta has been able to help organizations maximize their overall technology investment 
And we've been working over the last year since the initial announcement of Google Workspace to help organizations like yours benefit from that change. So we work with your Google account manager to either find a plan with additional features, save you some money on annual costs, or even possibly both. So as I, as I mentioned, um, today's webinar depends on what plan you're on. And Brianna's gonna help walk us through how to find out what G Suite plan you're currently on. Great, thanks for sharing those details on Google Workspace, Steve. Before we go any further, I want to share with everybody that the next couple of slides I'm um, in the content within are geared specifically towards organizations that are currently on a G Suite plan and more specifically a G Suite flexible plan. If you are on G Suite today, you are either on G Suite Basic or G Suite Business with one of two payment options, either paying as you go, which is the flexible plan, or you are locked into a commitment for 12 months or more. Now, if you're sitting here going, I don't know what plan I'm on, there are a few ways to find out. I'll start if you are direct with Google, meaning you are not a Worcester customer. If you are not a Worcester customer, you likely go to your admin console to purchase new licenses. You might pay by a credit card with Google. You can find that out by going to admin.google.com and visiting the billing section in the admin console. Next to your G Suite plan, again, that's going to be G Suite Basic or G Suite Business, you will see the words flexible payment plan. If you are a Worcester customer, meaning you order licenses through our customer portal, you receive your invoices from our team, you have an account manager, you can check your subscription status on the Worcester portal, or you can ask your account manager, or it's not here, but you can also go to your admin console to the billing section, and you will see resold with Worcester next to your licenses. Now, I've said the word flex and flexible plan quite a bit here. Um, Steve, can you share with us what a flexible plan really means? Sure can, be. So basically it means a couple of different things, right? So first of all, your user count can fluctuate or be flexible um, each month to suit your business, meaning you can increase and decrease or decrease your license count each month. You're therefore going to be billed on a month to month basis, whether that's with Worsta or if it's directly through Google based on your used or active license count within that calendar month. Now, there are no pricing incentives available for customers on a flex plan, meaning all customers on a flexible plan will pay list price for whatever um, edition that they are currently on. And lastly, and maybe most importantly of all of this, is that it's important to know that a G Suite flex plan as of January 2022, so in a couple months, that this plan will no longer exist for um, customers. So next, Chris is going to, because of that, Chris is going to walk us through the timeline, um, some next steps and the transition paths that are available. Thanks for the intro, Steve. Yeah, as Steve mentioned, I wanted to provide context on the timing and deadlines for the workspace transitions and why this is all kind of happening. So if you'll remember at the start of the pandemic, we underwent a huge shift in how we do business. Google saw some of these gaps with remote work and really decided to invest heavily in remote collaboration. A good example is Google Meet. Uh, Google Meet under the video conferencing solution went under a huge overhaul and introduced a lot of new features that made sense. So for example, the poll we took earlier, breakout rooms, these are all new features inside of Google Meet that allows it to compete with some of the market leaders out there. In October of 2020, Google then announced the transition from G Suite into Google Workspace moving from three SKUs on G Suite to six more tailored and more feature-specific SKUs in Google Workspace. This allows enterprises to select a SKU that's more feature-specific to their individual business needs. For the past year, WORS has been helping customers guide through the transition, choosing the appropriate Workspace SKU and secure rebates along the way. We've even won Partner of the Month from our efforts there. This past September, so last month, Google announced that all G Suite customers will have to migrate into Google Workspace starting next month or November. 
if the customer does nothing, Google is going to automatically migrate that license from G Suite into the appropriate Google Workspace SKU. What we really, really want to do as a partner, though, is help guide your transition and get allow you to take the most advantageous deal possible. To that end, I want to talk really quickly about next steps. So as Brianna mentioned earlier, step one is to verify your current G Suite plan or the SKU type and license type that you're on. After that, we'd recommend that you contact your Google partner. If you're not currently working with Google partner, we'll follow up after this call and we can schedule some time to talk through these transitions with you. And if you're currently a, a worse partner, then your account manager may have already reached out. And if not, is probably reaching out to schedule some time. Um, want to take a, a minute to pass it over to B and look at some of the uh, details to call out during this transition process. Great. Thanks, Chris. There are a number of transition paths available to you and suited for you. And as we've mentioned, we want to make sure that you choose the right one with our help if you'd like it. Chris mentioned G Suite consisted of three plans and Google Workspace now offers six plans. So depending on the tools that you are using today, some transition paths will probably make more sense than others. A really great example, uh, if you are on G Suite Business and you use Google Vault today, Google Workspace Business Plus will make the most sense for your organization. On the other hand, if you are on G Suite Business and you do not use Google Vault, Google Workspace Business Standard is your best choice. That's just one small example of what a transition path might look like for you. So again, we want to help you understand the tools that you use and need to choose which path makes the most sense. Additionally, your current seat count on G Suite Basic or G Suite Business is also a determining factor in what Google Workspace plan you will transition to. So we recommend taking some time to review what's needed for your organization and work with somebody on our team because we can provide some further context and guidance. And of course, we are here to help, not only through this crazy transition, but once you are a Worcester customer, we are here to support you throughout your entire journey on Google. I'm going to hand it over to Steve now, who's going to talk about a customer who recently made the move from G Suite to Google Workspace, workspace um, and the seamless transition that it was. Yeah, thanks, Brianna. I mean, one quick example of a an organization that I worked with recently was a technology, I'm sorry, a healthcare technology company that had about 250 employees and was on G Suite business. Um, they did use Google Vault, um, so it was important that they retain that, that capability, uh, but also wanted to look at some additional security features and, and wanted to utilize the transition as an opportunity for them to look at other options within Google Workspace. So they ended up uh, upgrading to Google Workspace Enterprise Plus, but because they were working with us at Worsta and we were engaging with the Google account manager for, for them as well, we were able to secure some great discounts for them. So it was really just a small uptick from their current model and really less than they might have paid had they remained on a flexible plan um, that contain Google Vault as well. And that's really just one example of how we've been able to help um, a customer transition to Google Workspace. But they, we offer a variety of services and support as well. Um, while Google Workspace has been at the heart of what Worcester does since the beginning, our team of experts are here to help um, be your technology advisors. Um, our technology teams have grown with Google Workspace back to G Suite, back to Google Apps for Business, back to Google Apps, well, you get the point. Um, for organizations thinking about switching to Google Workspace, we offer a full range of migration services, including data migration, change management, and project management services. And once you're a Google customer, we offer a number of services, including Google Workspace training, um, a dedicated account manager, and white glove support as well. For your security needs, we have Google domain audits where we will conduct a risk assessment of your Google Workspace tenant. And from there, we can offer custom security assessments or services really based on your priorities. 
Um, we also offer a wide range of cloud services, infrastructure modernization consultations and custom application development offerings. So we are here to really help you scale successfully. And Chris, that's just a quick uh, look at what we do offer. But Sorry. To, I was no, that's fine. I wanted to just take it back over to you to recap. Yeah, I appreciate that, Steve. Um, always helps if you click the mute button. So just to recap our conversation today, we talked about what is Google Workspace, which is the six new SKUs that were introduced, moving away from G Suite. In addition to that, we talked about what is a G Suite Flex account or a monthly plan the timeline for moving into workspace and next steps for G Suite customers, as well as choosing the Google partner that is best for you. With that, I'm going to pass it over to Brianna so she can talk about next steps. Great. Before we get into questions, we'd like to share some of our past events with you that you can view on our YouTube channel or our website. We also have a number of resources for you to get the most out of Google Workspace, so be sure to check it out. And that link was just dropped in the chat there. As we've mentioned, and if you are a Worcester customer, you probably already know this, we are here to help you. We will guide you through the transition from G Suite to Google Workspace as seamless as possible. Um, a Worcester rep, whether you are a current customer or not, uh, we'll be reaching out after today's session to schedule a call if you'd like to go over the details from this transition um, and a debrief of today's webinar. If you've joined any of our past webinars, you know that we love your feedback. There's also a link in the chat right here that Emily just put in. Um, you will also receive a follow-up email with a very short survey to tell us what you thought of today's session. It'd be great if you could check that out. And I will now open the floor for any questions. Feel free to take yourself off mute, um, or you can drop your questions into the chat panel there, whatever you are most comfortable with. 